Good morning. So I've been making these little uh, animals out of uh, real thin sheet metal, nuts, bolts, nails, stuff like that. And I, I posted a few videos. My neighbor saw one, so she wants me to make her a scorpion. So I'm going to do something pretty cool. I'm going to make a scorpion out of these two little pieces of thin sheet metal. I think this is 25 gauge. Um, and uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this metal. I'm going to uh, sand it smooth so it's nice and polished and I have a clean surface because I realize when you're welding real thin sheets of metal if it's not clean it tends to burn through more and you don't get that nice uh, that nice bead on there so I'm gonna grind these down I think and then I'm gonna heat them up and I'm gonna put them in some uh, oil to keep them from uh, rusting again once I finish and then after I do that we're gonna mark and cut so get ready Is dust rust kind of on it so it's not as clean as it looks and then here's our after look where you can see like that little bluish uh, reddish tint to it here's the design I'm doing I'm, I'm basically taking the sheet metal I marked it in force I'll be cutting it long ways like this so it's thicker and then longer up here and then it gets thinner and shorter down there i'll be cutting it i mark the four so i can make like a kind of a diamond pattern like this and just kind of go from thicker and tack on the inside to thinner 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 and that will be the body so these would just be my bend marks Now that I've cut my metal, I've filed my metal, and I've shaped my metal, the next step is to tack the inside and then start tacking them together on the bottoms so that they hold. I just gotta figure out the layout of the scorpion, and then from there we can start building other pieces. So up to now, I have tacked the inside of all of these little diamond shapes here. I've added a little head on this, which I'm going to kind of shape out into a little, uh, little biters there eventually. Uh, and then I'll end up polishing all this at the end. But the tacks came out pretty nice. Uh, this is the this is a .30 gauge uh, with the settings pretty low. So for the next project is, I'm going to set this on time lapse and we're going to set the scorpion up. Uh, so the tail kind of comes up and around. We'll figure out how that goes.
now that I've tacked all the pieces on, I added some springs here as the tail. Um, and I just kind of tack welded that in there. I have to clean all that up. It looks pretty gross. And then I add some nuts here for the eyes. I cut out that little mouthpiece. And I'm trying hands with a coat hanger, but this is just uh, hung up here. I'm just playing around just to see how this guy will look. But uh, definitely still, uh, we're about halfway there. And then we'll buff and polish and clean this whole thing. It'll actually look like something. And here's the finished product. Don't get me wrong, I know it's ugly as sin, but it really did help with uh, all the small little tacks. This is 25 gauge sheet metal. You could see some points on the underneath where I tack the uh, clothes hanger. I kind of went a little too much, but very small tacks, very small tacks. Um, Watch out for that little guy.